What's up guys? Welcome back to Lake Town. I believe we're on episode 34, season 2. This is a this is kind of a long season and you know what? I am just a little bit proud of myself. Just a little bit proud of myself. <laughs> uh, we've been doing pretty well here. Uh, we're pretty much exactly where the last episode ended. Notice I got a little slag down here. Let's go ahead and set that to get hauled off as well as this one rock right there. Um, oh, we got some rocks in here too. Yeah, we're doing good. We're still doing good. We're hanging in there. Um, I've been getting some comments that, you know, people asking me to, to not necessarily cut around and stuff. And I have been told that, you know, most of you don't really mind watching all this stuff. We have a raid. Raid, you are interrupting me. They're attacking immediately with drop pods. So that means I'm going to pause the video because I want to finish talking. And damn it, game, it's rude to interrupt people. Uh, so yeah, I know I keep kind of flip-flopping around where it's like I'll show all the stuff for a long time and then I'll start cutting stuff out midway through and like now I'm back to I'm going to show pretty much everything. Um, I'm pretty much doing it based off what you guys tell me. So if I get comments that are like, hey, you know, we don't mind seeing all the little stuff and little stuff is what makes RimWorld RimWorld, then that's, you know, I'm, I'm here to show you guys what you want to see. Um, I'm playing the game either way, so if you guys want to see it, then... You know, I don't mind putting it in. Uh, so again, I'm pretty much just going off what you guys see. Or, not see, but say. So, yeah. I'm going to be doing less cutting. For the for the time being. Until, you know, you guys change your mind. And you're like, you know, this is kind of boring. <laughs> Maybe you should cut some stuff in and out. Uh, this piece of slag is too close to my wall. It is touching my wall. I don't like it touching my wall. This stuff, I'm okay with. But this one right here. I'm mad at. So let's check out this raid. Uh, let's see if it's going to be the Death of Lake Town episode 34, right? Yeah, 34-ish. Because because I just mentioned that we were doing really well. So let's see what's going on. That doesn't look bad at all. I say that. Please don't. And it's Bubble Warriors. You guys have no chance. Uh, again, I'm probably not even going to draft anyone for fighting purposes. I'll probably... You know what? Let's, let's do it. Let's go ahead and bring... Blanca back here with her bow. We'll bring Giyu. Uh, Giyu's got a spear, so I don't really want him helping. Plus, he's going to go rest, so that's fine. Scottish can't do anything other than look awesome. And that's... See, we all have cowboy hats. I know. I know it's dumb. Do they actually give any protection? They probably only give a tiny bit of protection. Um, insulation from heat. Hmm. Sharp. Heat. Electric. Blunt. Covers head, left ear, right ear. And, if you'll notice, and this has been the case for a while, social chat impact. You get a plus 15% bonus to social chat because you're wearing a cowboy hat. I mean, come on. You are the man. Stylish yet rugged. Gives anyone who wears it a bit of extra charm. And it's going to go perfectly once everyone's rocking a duster. I'm excited, guys. I don't know if you can tell. I'm, I'm a little excited. I get... I get kind of silly over some of the little things. Um, let's see what else we got going on. Everyone's still sleeping. Uh, Ludmilla's got a personal shield. She doesn't have a weapon. We did haul her weapon back. So she needs to go get her plasteel spear. Uh, Clark, because he has that shiny new rifle. Let's go and draft up Clark. Bring him back here. And Squirrel with your bow. Let's go and draft him up. Bring him back here. And it's pretty much just to get these guys uh, deader quicker. I know that doesn't make sense, but or it makes sense, just not necessarily grammatically. All right, so let's see what's going on. Oh, he's done. He's done. Are they even gonna get a turret down this time? I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna do it. Ludmilla, you're scaring me. All right, just everyone stay out of the firing zone. Nope, they're done. Pepper, bye Pepper, bye Steven, bye Galamory, Gal Galamory. A headshot and he lived. I want to see this man. Trivial blood loss, 62% per day. Yeah, that's trivial, buddy. Uh, your right eye is almost completely gone. Your kidney is not happy. Your femur, your hand, your leg, not happy. Your head is also not happy. Steven, did you make it out? Uh, your lung is not doing too good, and neither is your heart. Galamory has no injuries. His bubble still intact. 
Uh, everyone is injured, or not injured, but dead, which, sure. Any good personal shields? That's what I'm interested in. I'm a heartless person. Uh, no, not really. But he did bring a duster. Is it a good quality duster? We like dusters now. Uh, no, it's an awful quality duster. That's probably why he lost. I think that maybe if his duster was higher quality, and also he had a cowboy hat, then he might have won. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that's true. And look at Scottish. Scottish is just like, ah, love me the sound of gunfire in the morning. Scottish, you're the man. I used to give him shit all the time. Scottish, you are now officially the man. We got lots of medicine stocked up over here. And again, I'm not worried about it because it takes, like, over a year in-game to spoil. So, yeah, I'm I'm not worried about it. Um, if we go through this much medicine, you know, that's going to really suck. But I think for right now, just doing this much, um, maybe we'll start selling it. That's one thing I was thinking about doing is actually reopening this section and farming. Uh, just doing lots of corn. And whatever we don't use, we'll go over into our freezer area over here. And then maybe putting a beacon in here. That way we can trade this stuff off. And I know I don't need to, but I kind of want to do some metal tiles in this area. Uh, that would be under floors, where it always is. Again, I know I don't need to. But everything's looking so nice. I still want to get the marble tiles. Uh, these guys are getting shuffled around. Already making space. And I do want to see, Squirrel is uh, smelting metal from slag. Okay, well... He's at least cleaning this area up. Do we still need the plasteel? We have 456 in storage right now. Uh, this still needs plasteel, which makes me curious why no one's building it. Um, because we have plasteel in storage. Who's our main constructors? We have Duster. Let's check on Duster and Blanca. Alright, so let's see what Blanca's doing. Where's Blanca? Blanca is... Consuming a meal, Duster is hauling beer. Both of those seem like very important things. Uh, he's hauling more beer, and he's going to go rest, because carrying beer is tiring. Uh, Blanca is hauling stuff. Why aren't you constructing this? Need building material. We have building materials. Steel, it's got 500 of 500 in it. Plasteel, it's got 21 of 500 in it. I'm looking at Plasteel, guys. I'm looking at Plasteel. Maybe I should cancel it and restart it. Maybe one of these pieces of slag is blocking it, which doesn't make sense at all. I'm going to cancel it. Hopefully we don't waste too many resources. But I'm going to cancel that, and then we're going to try to rebuild it. We don't really need it, but I think it's cool. I, th I think it looks cool. Not enough stored. I'm going to let you guys sort this out first. You sort all this stuff out. We have another raid. Some mechanoids from the mechanoid hive, hive there attacking immediately. Uh, these guys, poor quality, shoddy quality, shoddy quality, shoddy quality, and shoddy quality. Both of these are inferno cannons, so that does worry me slightly. Um, and now we're running into... Uh, I'm trying to think of how I want to word this. It seems like we hit this huge reset button. Like, the AI in the game is just like, you have two people. You're pretty much starting out. We need to only send small waves of things at you. Um, and again, it's Randy Random, so you know that's it's random. Uh, but it kind of feels like we almost reset, and we did in a way. Pretty much everyone's dead from the original Lake Town, except for Scottish now. But yeah, I don't know. It's nice of the AI. Thank you, Randy Random, for not completely crushing me. And then giving me my hopes back, and then crushing those hopes, and then giving me my hopes back again. Also, I just noticed we have a bit of uh, silver ore right here, which we're going to totally take advantage of. Not that we need it too, too bad, but we'll get that up and going uh, pretty soon. And I think, uh, since those guys will be here pretty soon, I'm going to see who decides to go out, if any of our miners decide to go out. And if they do, I'm going to grab them. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. Uh, I'm pretty sure our turrets can take care of the three of these. So we're just, I'm going to keep an eye on the front gate. Why don't you guys fight the boar? He's already pretty close to dead. Uh, yeah, look, <laughs> look at that. 
it's still at 93%. Alright, what do we got going on? Duster is going to go repair it. That's probably not the best idea for you to do, buddy. Just saying. Now, if those centipedes make it... No. Those centipedes will be probably at least another day. Furious is going to go haul something. That's probably not a good idea. Yeah, you, you snipe them. You take them down. Kill them before they get this. Blanca. Blanca's got a bow. Why don't you come over here, Blanca? Can you reach them from... You can totally reach them from back here. With a bow. Oh, she got him. <laughs> she got him. <laughs> I was watching that... <laughs> Thorax, crack, great bow. <laughs> she got him with a great bow. Blanca, you're a beast. Okay, let's... Now we gotta pay attention to what's going on here. Ludmilla should be okay. Oh, look at that. She got him again. <laughs> great bows are awesome. Should be okay. Uh, and we do have some visitors coming through. Squirrel, you're kind of scaring me a little bit. Why don't you come down here, buddy? Um, where are the visitors? Let's find those guys real quick. Do we see visitors? I don't see visitors. I thought I saw visitors. Oh, there they are. Um, Burrow at the Desert? Of course they're Burrow at the Desert. And it's Keys. And you're still a designer. I wonder if that's uh, maybe someone that, that paid a little bit extra and got their name in the game. Could be. Alright, so what do we got going on up here? Nothing spectacular. Uh, these guys are gonna make it probably almost in time for the centipedes let's go ahead and undraft these guys so they can go about their business for the time being uh, Clark buddy if you could nope you're already doing stuff Clark if you could not <laughs> if you could just not Clark okay duster if you could if you could not that fire should be completely contained. It's in this little dirt area. It should be okay. This one, not so much. Um, I think we will set up for these centipedes. Let's go ahead and set up. I don't want to get completely rocked again by centipedes. Um, we'll put Furious in this doorway for right now. Just because I don't know where they're going to be coming from. Uh, Duster, I probably don't really want helping. Uh, neither loot. I don't really want Ludmilla helping either. I know I didn't really finish that sentence. Scottish either. Scottish can go in here to hang out, and Duster can go in here to hang out as well. Um, where are other people? We have Blanca, who has decided that she wanted to sleep down here. Does that make sense? We have eight people. We only have seven beds active. Yes, I need to actually move everyone over here. Um, I know this isn't a good time to do it, because we're in a little raid right now. But let's go ahead and turn all these guys back on. Turn all these guys back on. And go down one by one. Set owner. Scottish. What is that? Why? Furious. Duster. Hit the wrong button. Or didn't click yet. Clark. Did it again. <laughs> Squirrel. Gyu. Blanca, Ludmilla, and Future Melee. Uh, so you guys are going to sleep there, and then that means that we can, for the time being, well, I guess we don't have any power problems at the moment, uh, so we can leave that stuff alone. And these guys over here, I will actually uh, just toggle off, and same with the heaters as well. Save a little bit of power. Alright, so let's actually do this combat thing <laughs> that we're trying to do. Since we are in the middle of a war, uh, Blanca, with your bow, so great. Let's, let's come over here. Excuse me, squirrel. This is why we draft everyone. Everyone leave. Giu, come hang out here with Ludmilla. Ludmilla, you're now drafted. Stop drinking. Squirrel, come hang out here with Clark. Now. Right now, please. Actually, go over here. Bro, you're scaring me. Come, come this way. Now come this way. The fire is everywhere. Okay, 
Okay, thankfully they can't hit us, it doesn't seem like. What's the range like on the Inferno Cannon? I'm curious. Uh, range is 27, so I guess they're just out of range. This Great Bow is a range of, I believe, was it like 32 or 39? 32. Let's see what his... Oops, I did not mean to... You... Stay there. <laughs> Take B. Uh, I think they might be able to hit us if they tried. I know they're they're supposed to go for the turrets first. Um, I was just curious if they were close enough to actually hit us with those. Uh, yep, Squirrel just found out that they are close enough to hit them. So let's go ahead and move Clark back and Blanca. I'll keep Squirrel's gonna do his little dance. Squirrel, buddy, I'm gonna undraft him. Can you rescue him while he? Try <laughs> I can try to arrest him. No, don't put out the fire. Go, go rest. Prioritize receiving treatment in hospital bed. Okay, one's down, which is great. Let's uh, and the rain's coming, which is even greater. Let's shift Clark over here to this side. Furious is still doing work. Who's our main doctor? Scottish. It looks like Scottish. Why don't you uh, treat Squirrel? That will be awesome. I still think it'd be kind of cool if, when these guys were damaged, if they took uh, a little bit of extra damage from rain. I think that'd be kind of cool. Like, you know, we cracked open their, their outer layer, their armor, and the wiring's exposed, and, you know, maybe the shielding on the wiring and stuff like that's uh, exposed, and the water gets in and damages them. I think that would be kind of neat. Alright, so it looks like the turrets, turrets don't care, uh, Plasteel turrets, OP for the win. It was nice to actually use our colonists, um, I'm considering possibly deconstructing these three turrets up front. Uh, I know that that may not necessarily be the smartest thing, but at the same time I feel like this is a lot of turrets, um, and I know as soon as I get rid of them then, then Mr. Random is gonna throw quite a large uh, number at us. Let's go ahead and suspend that as well. I want to get these centipedes done. Um, by quart, quite a large number, by quite a large number, <laughs> speaking, um, by quite a large number I mean he's gonna send a large wave of raiders. You guys didn't even come visit. They're like, nope, we know what that sound means. We're not getting involved. Uh, squirrel, already fully healed. That's He's got a bad back. When did that happen? I don't remember. Has he always had a bad back? Maybe. He's 65 now. Maybe that just happened. Maybe these health things just have a chance to proc uh, with age. That's... You know, that that, that happens. Um, yeah. Cargo pods. Let's see what we got going on with cargo pods. Uh, lots of monkey meat. If we get some monkey meat, then sure. And we still have this silver waiting to be hauled. What happened up here? We got some stuff just kind of hanging out. That's fine. Corpses and such. Ludmilla's going to do a bit of mining. Are you going to go for the silver first? Of course not. That would make the most sense. Alright, so... Yeah. Still doing pretty great. Um, I suspended this, but he's still doing it. Still getting some cloth, so we're going to be able to make our super fancy dusters, hopefully. Uh, have we made any yet? I don't think so. I think I suspended it like, right away. Um, and no one's in range. I really want to get marble tiles. I am almost tempted to just reconcrete absolutely everything. That would have wasted so much silver. But... <laughs> yeah. Alright, and we need to shut these guys down. Health mod shut down and same for you as well uh, got, got shot by the great bow what about you assault rifle great bow times two assault rifle another great bow don't discount the great bows I'm telling you guys that would be a huge mistake do not discount the great bows we've found out in the past lots of stuff getting done lots of work being done which is always awesome. Everyone's staying in this little area over here, which is pretty nice for me. Because it lets us uh, kind of focus our colonists. I don't have to look all over the place for them. And also, I know there's enough beds here. 
Melee is still not recruited at all. Health-wise, he's still doing pretty great. Um, and I remember I just pretty much wanted him for the extra labor. Decent at melee, so there's another brawler. But that hypersensitivity to the psychic stuff could be annoying. But time will tell. Alright, well, we don't really have anything going on, but... Some visitors from Breakso Galga, that's fine. It'd be nice if maybe they'd bring something. Um, maybe in the future they'll bring like little, either maybe peace offerings or uh, stuff to trade. That would be kind of cool, like special unique items that maybe you can only get from, like these guys are uh, tribals, so maybe they'll bring some, some really nice like bows or something like that to trade. I think that would be kind of cool. I think we can probably go ahead and build this extra reactor. We have everything in storage that we need. We also have this stuff right here. Uh, they're hauling everything away, so let's go ahead and plop that down. And let's see how it goes. And he's just going to start right away on, on getting it built. Hopefully it works out. Um, I'm thinking about maybe switching this over to something else, but I'm not sure what. I think this much, if we use it all for cloth a few times, I think that would actually probably be a really good idea. And I like that plan, so let's actually do it. Let's switch it all over to cotton. We could also actually do devil strands. Um, let's do devil strands. I'm feeling kind of fancy. Fragile mushroom genetically engineered to produce a silk net of the highest grade. Let's do it. Let's get some devil strand. I believe devil strand is the red. I'm pretty sure it's the red, because synth red is the, uh, this blue color. So let's go ahead and do Devil Strand. I'm actually kind of excited about this. Have these nice blue cowboy hats with the, the sharp red Devil Strand dusters. Oh man, that's going to be the greatest. Zero gum. Change it all to Devil Strand. I'm sorry this is boring for you guys, me switching it over. I wish you could do it all at once, but I haven't found a way to do it. And if you guys know of a way to do it, please let me know. But... Yeah, I'll try to double click it again just once I finish to see if that works. But I don't think it does. Yeah, see, I don't get an option to change it. Alright, so mushrooms for everyone. We have plenty of stuff. Ooh, bulk goods trader. We might get our marble. We might get our marble. We're Scottish. Playing some pool. Sorry, buddy. We need you over here. Uh, first thing I'm looking for is marble blocks, and I don't see any marble blocks. I hate you. <laughs> I don't hate him. Alright, the beer, uh, we'll sell our excess beer because we have uh, 50 over here. So, And I mean, this is what I made it for to sell. With that beer money, we can buy them some chocolate. We're actually running lowish on chocolate. Um, do they have lavish meals? We could buy some lavish meals now. I don't really want to sell anything, and we don't really need to buy anything. We're doing pretty well on food right now, and... Uh, I'll buy a little bit more chocolate. We never know when we're going to get more chocolate. Uh, we have 57, so let's go ahead and get 43 pieces of chocolate. That'll round us off at a nice 100. Um, 19 beers is almost enough for 43 pieces of chocolate. There you go. I dare you to try to go <laughs> to like a chocolate factory and do that. I got a case of beer if you give me 40 chocolate bars. <laughs> That would be an interesting conversation. Look at Squirrel, you can't even see him. The centipede's alive again, he's coming for us. Getting some plasteel. 50 plasteel from that centipede, not too bad. And 50 regular steel. Did this get built? Ooh, it's actually happening. Nice. Uh, I think this is actually about time to get some new batteries up. Because ours are completely full, which is always good. Um, we may even need to build more battery storage soon. I'm not going to rebuild it up here because uh, I'm pretty sure I said it when I started it. That's a terrible place for batteries. We'll start expanding over into this area right here. Which was the original plan was to have batteries in there. I think a fire took all of them out or something. Pretty much as soon as I put them down or as soon as they were built. So we just wasted a bunch of money. Which was awesome. Sarcasm. Uh, and up here, what we're going to do is just to get them right off the bat, 
we're gonna make dusters, but we're only gonna make them, or we're we're gonna exclude Devil Strand, and I'm gonna add another bill for dusters. Do exclusively out of Devil Strand, and I'm gonna leave it at the bottom, and I'm gonna suspend it, and hopefully by the time he gets down here, after making all this other stuff, he'll be really good at crafting. What's he at right now? Uh, Squirrel is at 12, and he will make just the best Devil Strand dusters you've ever seen. Maybe we can make uh, some nice money doing a Devil Strand sort of thing. Look at this, we even have more stuff growing. This is this is going really well. Um, just to see how much we can get, how much food we can get stocked up, I am going to set this up as a growing zone right here. And we're going to grow all corn. Just to see, because I want to get some corn. I want to get. I want to make sure we have food stocked up. I'm over having food shortages and having to scrounge around. You guys, you guys, you guys get to farming. I'll practice my English. You guys get to farming. <laughs> um, and we have plenty of room for storage over in this section. And I can always expand this down, like I originally planned. Just crack open this wall and keep working on it from over there. Yeah, I think this is gonna go pretty well. Let's hide this zone. Don't really need to see it right now. And Furious planted one corn plants, and he's like, "Man, I am all tuckered out for the day, guys. All tuckered out for the day." Uh, these rooms actually still look pretty nice. Uh, this one is missing a light. I am sorry, standing lamp. Let's add one. It seems like the light still kind of filters in through the door. Maybe, maybe it's the vent that the light is filtering in through. Uh, not sure. These guys have the nice carpets. How are these rooms for you guys? Pretty good. Pretty good. We have some dirt in a couple of these rooms. Pretty dirty. Uh, we were in an, in a war. That was a thing. Uh, you guys need some flower pots or something, don't you? These rooms up here are pretty good, except for a little bit of dirt on the on the little mat, which makes sense because you know that's where you wipe your feet. Maybe I should have one out front too, because you should really wipe your feet off outside before you come in. Instead of dirtying up the nice rug. Uh, but looking at the time, time flies when you're having fun. That is true. It's 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 a statement for a reason. You know, cliches and stereotypes, they're there for a reason. Uh, that time went by really fast. So, yeah. Hopefully we can continue making this place better and better. I really like these ship reactors. Again, thank you for that suggestion. Um, I know they don't put out that much power, and they are quite expensive to build. Um, they're actually pretty sturdy, though. And, uh, yeah, I like I like having the, variety, the, the visual variety, because that just adds something else, because we have so many of these solar generators. <laughs> we have so many. I would like to set up some turbines, but they just weren't working out for me quite well enough. Uh, for me to justify building a row of them. If I could maybe safely take down this section over here. Uh, by safely, I mean just not having a, a roof collapse or a cave-in. Um, I might build a wind farm over here and get rid of some of these generators. But it takes a lot of power to run a city. Uh, mad animals. Some deer in the area. Uh, unfortunately, that's going to have to wait for the next episode for you guys, because this one's gone on, uh, getting on 10 minutes longer than I was expecting, about 8 minutes longer than I was expecting, but, you know, that just gives you a reason to come back for more RimWorld with me, and I like having you guys hanging out with me, uh, so that's going to be the end of this episode, so hopefully you guys enjoy the video, and as always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.